And so finally we can finish all this stuff up. Um, now that I'm back after the reset frame rate went down a little bit. I'm going to attribute that to there being a shit ton more players in here now. Uh, it's getting a lot better now that I've gotten away from that main area back there, but uh, we're going to go ahead. We need to get some, uh, we need to go to Isa and fill her in on all the bullshit that's going on with these guys and tell her that basically we're going to blow the whole thing up. And I feel that she is not going to like that very much. But we get to, yes, we just spent all that time with the horde. Now we can uh, wash our hands clean of such things and uh, come over here to the alliance side, the good side. What can I do for you? <sighs> you are our first turn of good fortune in several days. We're glad to have that. Your friend is out fighting to save my crew fiercely, I might add. I'm afraid your message may have to wait. Have a good one. Apparently we're going to have to do some quests for, for this chick as well. Um, I'm already level 11, so I guess I'll, uh, I'll probably, maybe, might get to level 12 here? I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> um, so let's just quickly go through this here. We're still dealing with more than we can handle here. Quenching the fires. I still have men on the ship. Alright, so... I need to rescue three injured sailors, and we also need some medical supplies. So I guess we'll go ahead and grab those things up real quick. Got a, got a nice little dwarf here. Got a night elf going as well. We got uh, all the races of the alliance except for the gnomes. I haven't seen any gnomes, which is unfortunate. Maybe we'll see one somewhere though. Um, hopefully, anyway. What the hell is that? The hell is that? Huh. I guess that's, uh, I think that I saw something about a known bug where you could see, uh, some things going on. Um, in regards to shadows and buildings and stuff like that. So I'm assuming that that's what that is. Um, I guess we'll find out though. Um, here we go. Here's some more medical supplies. And also, I have a giant... Do I have to take them somewhere or something? Um... I guess I just take them back over here, maybe? Perhaps? Oh, well, let's pick up some more of these medical supplies while we're kinda out and about. We get four of them. That's halfway done. We can come back and we can quickly nab up these two soldiers, hopefully. And uh, if we, I guess we just have to take them back over here, maybe. That's what I'm assuming, anyway. Yep. Oh, and we also got something from uh, uh, Jojo Ironbrow over here. Um. So I gotta kill eight of those things. Awesome! Not really. Not very excited about that, to be honest with you. Okay, there's another one. And see if we can... I feel that it's probably going to take a while to... Uh, kill those things because there's like f I want to say probably about 15 people in this area trying to quest uh, along with me so go figure it's a little bit later in the day uh, when I was filming this morning it was you know uh, 9 o'clock on uh, Central Standard Time and so now that it's a little bit later it's, uh, you know, people are actually awake in all four time zones of the United States. So it makes sense that there would be more people playing now. I try and play in the morning so that uh, I don't have to deal too much with uh, too many players on at one time. But uh, 
I mean, you're never, it's beta, you're never going to be alone. Or at least you're going to very rarely be truly alone uh, while playing the beta. Which is fine. Not a huge deal. Anyway. I guess I have 30 minutes to uh, get this guy out of here. Or 3 minutes, I mean. Excuse me, 30 minutes, half an hour. I'll just carry him to Stormwind with me, no problem. We got uh, we got a guy over here that we can kill. Well, not if I get stopped by that anyway. And I need one more medical supply. So this works out uh, quite well. Grab this up, and then maybe we can catch a few more on the way. Looks like there's a couple. There's one right over here that I might be able to snag up. We're gonna very quickly kill this guy so that we can take this our sailor friend back over here and save him from the uh, whatever ailment he has. Do that before our time runs out. There's so many more people here than there were this morning. Okay, now let's go kill some things. Looks like that guy's gonna take that one, so we can't really snag that one up. That one's been taken now as well, but I do see one up here. I might be able to snag real quick. Is anyone else? Uh, I I feel that this is uh, the starting area is a lot easier than a lot of the other starting areas that I have. That's a darkened. He doesn't count. We're skipping him. Uh, but this is starting area has so far been a lot easier than uh, a lot of the other ones that I have. I've done in the past, uh, for sure. How many more of these? Three more of these. So this is one. That's two. Might be able to snag an extra one while I'm up here so we can finish it up real quick. That would certainly be nice. Yep, here's one. And... Yes! Here we go. We can be done with this. Nice. Let's go turn all of these in. And to be done with it. If I don't get stuck on that. Anyway. Ancient evil. Monster, I was looking for you. One of the escaping sailors just spotted Isa in the wreckage of the ship facing some enormous beast. She might need your help. You should go help her quickly. Well, let's go! What are we waiting for? It would appear that phasing technology has kicked in. And as such... Uh, I guess we have to wait for the respawn. Oh, here she is. 
I guess I hope this isn't bugged. Um Ah, there we go. I guess this one actually is um like an elite. Because it is not going down very easily, that is for sure. Although we might have some help coming in here. So that'll be nice. Uh, monks do have an auto attack, by the way. There's no, like, action for it, but they do have one. If you just kind of stand here, they will at times. Uh, oh, wow. We have a lot of stuff going on right now. Should be simple enough, though, with this little move here. You can just kind of take some dudes out. Just like that. Easy. Easy peasy. Hey, now. That's not, that's not cool, bro. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, now we got some more coming in. So what I can do then is just... Oh, that's not up yet. I can do this, however. Oh, may want to stand out of that area. Nice. Done! Let us move on from this place. Oh, wait. I guess I gotta talk to Isa. Oh, and I m maybe get some loot. Oh, just four copper. Isa is clearly exhausted from the fight. Your skills in battle are unquestionable, monk. Did you save the escaped prisoners? Where's G? Is he okay? Wait, what? How could he be so reckless? Blowing the ship free is insane. They could kill Shinzen Su and all of us with it. All we know, we don't have much time, but we need to think of another way. Okay. G may kill Shinsen Su if we let him go through with this. Come with me. Quickly. Quickly, monster. Quickly. Well, I'm coming. You're running kind of fast there, chick. Alright. G, stop. This is... <laughs> G, stop. I said this is our only option. We blow the ship free and we heal his wound. We have no other solution. If you stop this, then maybe we can come up with one. So we just wait until we sink or something? Shinzen Su is dying. Doing nothing risks everything. Doing this risks everything. I'd rather die knowing that we at least tried. Gee, if this is what you must do, I won't stop you. But you're giving up everything for this. I hope you're right. No oh, shit. I guess we we probably run. Oh, cutscene! Yay, cutscene! Oh, wow! Nice cutscene, Blizzard. I like it. The first step is done, but now we must save Shinzen Su. This is more horrific than I imagined, but we can handle this. We need to gather the healers and close the wound. We need to save Shinzen Su. Find any healers you can. Rescue them. Relieve them. Whatever you need to do to get get them over there healing the wound. Keep the healers safe at all costs. Okay. So we must save... I guess we just need to kill all these things over here as they kind of come. Easy enough. So what do you guys think about like the implementation of some of these like timed quests? that you have to do uh, when it has like this bar down here 
I, I kind of like him. I think it adds a little bit of a, a variable element other than always, you know, doing one thing or the other. By the way, the bodies turning and all that stuff is due to the uh, AoE looting. It's For whatever reason, it turns them on their uh, mid-axis towards you. Um, so that's, that's certainly one thing. About halfway there, almost halfway there. And so yeah, basically this I guess this is just like a timed event. Cause I mean it's still going, so that's quite nice. Um I think another way they could do it is like how much damage you deal. So once you deal like a thousand damage or something like that, then maybe you can uh get out of it. Or be done with it I, I guess. Uh, but I think for the purposes of this, it's just timed. Um, like I said, I don't know 100% for sure, but that's what it... That's the way it seems to be. Anyway. Apparently don't have enough chi. Not enough chi. That is a lot of blood, though. Like, look at that. Look at how much blood that is right there. There's blood shooting all the way up into the sky. Look at that. That is insane. I don't think that... I think... Jesus. Let's see, that's my, that's my new sound effect. I changed it up slightly. I'm like a sound designer, no problem. Sound Wizard doesn't have shit on my sound effects. Awesome, we're done. Sort well. We'll just say we're done. I need to make some bag space. I don't need any mana, so we'll just do this. Yay, cutscene! Sort of. Again, like I said, sort of. <laughs> it just kind of shows that uh, I guess we have some red trees now. They're like they're blood trees or something, maybe. Monster, I did what had to be done, and the plan worked. Things could have been much worse had we not acted. I only wish Isaac could understand that. There will be plenty of time for reflection, but for now we need to return to the Temple of the Five Dawn, Temple of Five Dawns. We need to let them know that Shinzen Su has been saved, and we need to sort out the fates of these new allies. Yes! So we got some interesting lore. I mean, we know that the, the Pandarans have been living on uh, on this island that is actually the, the shell of a tortoise, a giant turtle, um, among other things. We're going to talk about that uh, a lot more. Actually, this is the last video, so we can talk about that. But because uh, I planned on doing like sort of like a little lore roundup, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, we, that's kind of what we discovered. That we discovered that uh, the alliance um, shipwrecked here on the on this turtle, the back of this turtle. They were carrying horde prisoners, uh, which kind of splits the factions up. We know that uh, there are several. Uh, there, there's like a, a, we have these two characters that we've met, Isa and G, that sort of have differing philosophies on how to handle certain situations, and in those situations, um, it, we get to kind of choose which, which path we want to go. Now, I don't necessarily agree with how they're like pigeonholing the Alliance to be, you know, just like Isa, but... I do kind of understand how they would put sort of that philosophy into the, the hands of the Alliance. Um, I don't think that you can take that literally as, as that is the, st the stance of the Alliance. However, I can say that it's sort of the morals and the ideas of the Alliance, uh, not necessarily the actions of the Alliance. Same goes uh, a little bit for the Horde. Not everyone in the Horde is like G, where you have to take action now. Um, and there can be no deliberation. It's just whatever has to be done has to be done. Um, and I think that uh, that's just it's really cool that they kind of did that. 
Um, you can obviously tell that um, you know they definitely wanted to do something uh, like that. You know what I mean? Anyways, we'll get more into that in just a second. It is good to see you again, Monster. Oh, the spirit of Master Shangzi. You've done all that I've asked you and more. You make an old master proud. These new allies have shed light on a great and important truth. It is not just the Shinzinsu that is ailing, but all of the land beyond the clouds. The world needs healing, and I think you should be the one who, to heal it. Choose your destiny. Let's read this real quick. The, the Horde. The proud nations of the Horde are loosely joined in an alliance of convenience against a hostile world that would see them destroyed. Focused, ferocious, and sometimes monstrous, the Horde values strength and honor, but struggles to keep aggression in check. Join the Horde and fight, the fight to build a world where their people can live free. For the Horde! The Alliance. The noble races of the Alliance are bound together. Be proud traditions of nobility, honor, faith, justice, and sacrifice. The many different Alliance peoples all contribute their technical, arcane, and spiritual wisdom toward the goal of a peaceful and just world. Take up the banner to represent the high ideals of the Alliance through Azeroth and beyond. Join the Alliance. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Eventually, we'll get these actual things, you know, in here. All of these particular things. And it'll be nice and well and fun. But for now, we just get that. Which is fine. You know, the cinematics folks over at Blizzard, they're hard at work. I know they are. I know they're hard at work right now. Alright, here we go. Now we have woken up. Temporary, let's go talk to Varian. Okay. I believe this whole, like, thing here is temporary. This particular portion of the zone. I got to level 12 by the time I ended. And you guys saw, I didn't really do a whole lot of, like, extra stuff. So, it seems uh, just about right that you'd get to level 11, level 12. Especially if you didn't get to level 12 by this particular point in time, uh, you probably should have been 12. You know what I mean? So that's nice. Um, it's saying that I have like talent points, but I don't. And I don't, I think that's a bug. Let us go. We got uh, Jojo Ironbrow with us. I want to know what is up with Jojo Ironbrow. I don't remember seeing much, a whole lot about him. But uh, regardless, let us go talk to Varian Wren. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. You guys gotta remember, <laughs> it's been a long time since a long time. It's been a long time since I've played uh, World of Warcraft. Matter of fact, the beta was the first time, just last night was the first time that I actually did the, uh, Well of Eternity and all that stuff, so. I mean, obviously I read about it and know the lore of it and all that good stuff, but, uh, in terms of actually playing it, last night was the first time I had the chance to do that. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, is this different? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. I thought this was a bit more st stony. I didn't know. I don't know if that bridge was there. Then again, I haven't walked in Stormwind since flying mounts were available uh, on Azeroth, anyway. So there you go with that, I suppose. Look at that big belly. See that big belly just flopping around? It's very attractive, I'm sure. Let's 
Stormwind honors your service to the Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Our struggles are far from No phone. Okay. He said walk with me. So where the fuck did he go? See, I had to go and, you know, answer my phone and all that stuff. Okay. Easy enough. I guess they just haven't implemented that yet. Ah, uh, here we go. He's way the fuck over here. Suddenly. The line of Stormwind's kings has been restored. Serve with honor. So, spar with Varian Ren. Is reborn. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, I guess. I see where this is all going, but uh, I just wish for your sake that, uh, you know, there was a lot more to it, you know? You're cool, welcome to the Alliance, Monster. Thank you! And we are done, and that is it! We are 100% done. Um, the ending there needs a bit of work, obviously, we'll come back and probably do that again at some point so that you can see the actual ending of it and all that good stuff, but, uh, yeah. So that's about it. Nice. So, uh, yeah, so we found out quite a few things, we'll just, uh, kinda chill out over Stormwind, because Stormwind is awesome. It's an awesome place to be in the world. And, uh, see if we can get up here and get a nice, you know, view of, of something. Not really any good views out here, are there? I'll just kind of turn my guy around. Get some artistic, like, you know, because we got the Alliance banner there in the background. So now you know he's like, he's a part of the Alliance while we kind of talk for a second, you know. So, the biggest thing, like we were talking about, in terms of the lore of this, we, we found out a lot about, um, a little bit about the history of the Pandaren, at least the ones that have been on that island, uh, which, of course, would be Shinzen Su, the, the, uh, the turtle, the back of the turtle, uh, and, uh, we, we have the Alliance, and the, the Alliance ship crashes, it has some horde people in it, and, uh, they kind of splinter off now that the prisoners are freed, and, the Alliance has some troubles of their own. They're having to, uh, you know, kind of bandage up and, and heal heal up some of their guys. Now, what I, I didn't like um, was, like, like I said, at the end, there's a little bit of filler content in there that, you know, we have to come back in a little while. And when they kind of fix that up and get that all in there, we'll hopefully be able to see how it actually plays out. And uh, maybe we'll get a little bit more lore and story and history in that. I, I don't think we will, uh, but we'll definitely get a more definitive, um, you know, like a definitive entrance, grand entrance into the Alliance or into the Horde. And, uh, but yeah, we found out a little bit, you know, about uh, the monks. Um, not not a whole lot, I'm sure we'll learn. We, I, I definitely think, especially for the monks, that we should have gotten a lot more lore behind them in that starting area especially if you're a monk i mean i'm sure that they could have had uh just like one or two extra quests something that's not going to be groundbreaking like or game breaking uh, i'm sure you could deal with a couple of extra bars of experience for one or two quests that you can do uh that gives a little bit more story to the to the the lore of the monks or even then, just like some sort of statue or something that we can kind of look at and read upon and get a little bit more history behind the, the class of the monk. I mean, we know a lot about the mages and all that stuff. 
Um, but we didn't see monks uh, from Pandaren when they were in the War of the Ancients before they they exiled themselves to Pandaria. And then we also know, and that was of course ten thousand years ago. So we know that now that uh, we've got this going on, which happened something like I think the lore said three thousand years ago they started living on the back of that turtle. So, um, and then we still didn't get clarification on the relationship that the that Sue and all those guys, the little little elemental guys, although they weren't really little, but uh, regardless. Uh, those guys were able to have on uh we didn't get to see the relationship that they may have had or any sort of connections that they would have had to like ragnaros or neptalon or anything like that or any of the other elemental uh lords um and i'm almost positive that they do i mean they they're of the elemental family so maybe that's something i'll have to uh talk to metzen about or something we'll, we'll certainly find out uh, so, but uh, it was a fun experience. Uh, we didn't learn a whole lot, but it was certainly cool to uh, to do, and we did, of course, learn a little bit. So, all in all, good fun to be had by all. So, I appreciate you guys watching, and stay tuned for more Mr. Pandaria beta stuff coming up. We got the leveling. Whenever they open that up, we've also got a. I'm gonna be focusing a lot on the dungeons and raids, because uh, that's where all the stories at. That's where all the good stories at, anyway. So. Hopefully something like that will come through and we can uh, we can learn a bit more about the Pandarans and where they come from and what they've been up to for the last 10,000 years. So stay tuned right here to youtube.com forward slash the smoking gamer for more Mr. Pandaria beta videos.